Hello, I'm Dr. Inman. I'm the originator of the VOM and the veterinary low-level laser techniques involving frequency-specific laser. This is a miniature lecture on pyoderma in all animals, mostly the canine, as you can see, that produces a disgusting uh, infection in the germinal epithelial tissue that erupts to the outside of the skin, producing pustules, papules, abscesses, just generally disgusting. It's imperative to understand that bacterial infection of the skin and over-infection of Staphylococcus and Streptococcus organisms, even methoxus and resistant Staphylococcus organisms, uh, MRSA if you will, is a, a continual problem. However, it's multi uh, centric problem it can occur all over the animal's body or in, one, or in focal areas essentially that act like colonies of bacteria that grow out from a specific area. We treat it with antibiotics to some degree. However, the underlying problem is a little bit more complicated than that. It's due to lack of blood supply, continual irritation. It may be an immune-mediated disease process which holds the problem in place. Virtually, the body is designed to take care of all infections, and so if it can't take care of that infection, the immune system is compromised. The parasite, or the bacteria rather, is one that basically the body can't overwhelm because of its own immunological uh, incapacity, and also there might be other extenuated circ circumstances such as environmental etc etc and so we want to eliminate everything we can eliminate and we can uh, want to uh, option to treat the animal with antibiotics therapeutic baths etc etc however that may not even be enough and so when we try sometimes we have adjusted these animals and they have basically snapped right out of it and the only thing that we've done there is actually optimize the animals autonomic and normal neurological system to see the problem and respond to it but this approach doesn't work as often is what we use. What we use is we use a frequency, a specific laser uh, frequency, and that we'll, we'll go ahead then and we will, in fact, whoops, weak. We will laser this. Notice that this has a violet head. The violet head is actually bacterial cytal, so it'll kill the superficial strap, staph, uh, strep and staph, and also it actually moves through the whole body, so it'll actually take care of a lot of pathogens throughout the whole body with the frequencies that we use. The frequency 784 is a frequency we use for infection. However, we use a frequency for skin, obviously, 363, for connective tissue and rehabilitation, which is going to be 20.5. And we also will use it on this particular laser 41, which is a, a, a doubling of the 20.5 frequency. So we use 41. And in this case, too, we'll also use a frequency for lymphatic drainage because you have to get the swollen juices out of the tissue if you, if you wanted to get it to heal. And we'll use uh, 230. There's another Another set of frequencies that we use and we discuss rather extensively for immune compromised animals to try to optimize their immune response. Those are actually delineated in our advanced modules essentially uh, uh, for treating immunologically compromised uh, conditions or immunologically directed disease conditions. They're 87.5, 73.24, 667, 343. Uh, those, it's not important that you memorize those, but rather you'll find that if you, in fact, use this technology, you use those frequencies a lot for allergy elimination and chronic conditions of non-responsive disease processes that are held in place by an immunological phenomenon. That is sometimes seen as a condition that we see over and over and over in chronic disease conditions. That is an immune-mediated or immune-compromised or a immune-directed disease condition, autoimmune disease condition associated with a chronic uh, disease process of which pyoderma is, is certainly one of them. The nastiest ones that we see uh, do not respond unless we basically handle or, and address the immunological system along with therapeutic baths, removing environmental uh, uh, concerns about the disease condition and treat with an antibiotic therapy that is effective. We talk about uh, methoxacin uh, uh, resistant Staphylococcus aureus in another video, essentially, which is a disease process all by itself, and we have effectively been able to treat it with this particular laser activity. I would mention to you that I would have you go to the vomtech.com website and look at the area that we talk about cold laser therapy or frequency specific low level laser therapy, which is essentially the same thing, and get more information about how it is that we go about taking care of this particular problem. I'm Dr. Inman. Thank you for listening and have a great day.